For today's eye makeup look, I'm going to show you how to create this look using two eyeshadows. One for the lid and one for the crease. It's a super easy look, so let's get started. So I've already started by priming my eyelids with a little bit of primer. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, you can always use concealer and a setting powder. This will create a blank canvas for you to work on. However, primer does give your shadow something to hold on to. So that's why I prefer primer over concealer. I'm first of all going to take that crease shade, which is a matte tone. And I'm going to take my blending brush. So you only need two brushes for this look, a blending brush and a flat brush. Starting with the blending brush, we're going to work this over and back into the crease of the eye. So the crease of the eye is where the eye creases into the eye shape. We're going to start on the outer corner and blend this over and back in this area. I like to keep my eyes open so I can see the shape that I'm creating, making sure the depth of color is right at the lower point of the crease, blending upwards towards the brows and pretty much disappearing as it gets to the brow area. Take your time blending this over and back until you get the depth of color that you want. And then I'm going to take my lid shade. And whenever I'm applying anything that has a little bit of shimmer, I use a flat brush to apply it. The reason I use a flat brush is it helps the shadow to glide on, particularly with metallics or anything with shimmer or glitter. It just helps them to really hold on to the lid and glide and create that nice glossy look. You want to very slowly build this up, applying a little bit of shadow at a time until you get the depth of color that you want. You also want to pay close attention to the lash line because this is where you want the majority of the shadow to be, blending upwards until it reaches the crease. If you have harsh lines between your crease and your lid, take your brush and slowly smudge between the two. This will help them blend into one another. But don't be afraid to keep blending and applying a little bit as you go along. And I also took that lid shade and applied it underneath the eyes as well. I accidentally ended up applying liner. You might ask me, Sinead, how do you accidentally apply liner? It's because I had a little bit of eyeshadow on my lashes, went to remove it using liner, hit my lash line, and then ended up having to do a very thick line. It's a bit like that meme where you go to do a really thin line and end up super dramatic. That's basically what happened to me. Rather than cutting it out or starting again, I just thought, let's just do <laughs> it. 